HDIs are one of the most important tools in visual effects, as they can be used to light a 3D scene. So, if you have shot some footage and want to integrate a 3D model into it, you can use an HDI captured on set to handle the lighting and the reflections. But how do I capture my own HDI? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. To understand how to create our own HDI, we first need to understand what an HDI actually is. So HDI stands for High Dynamic Range Image and is a 360 image that, like the name suggests, contains lots of brightness information. To help visualize this, I have an HDI on the left and a regular JPEG on the right. And when I adjust the exposure on both, you will notice that the JPEG loses the detail and turns grey, where the HDI retains all the information as if we were adjusting the settings on a camera. And when we use them as an environment light in Blender, we can see that the HDI casts realistic shadows, while the JPEG just produces this non-directional ambient shadow. So how do we capture this dynamic range then? Well, unfortunately, there's no sensor that can capture all this information in a single shot. Instead, we use a technique called exposure bracketing. This involves taking multiple pictures at different exposures and then merging them into a single HDI that contains all the information. I will show you how to do this step by step in a moment, but before that, we still need to figure out how to capture a 360 degree image. And well, there are a few different ways to do this. The most professional method involves mounting your camera on a tripod, rotating it to capture images from every angle, and then merging those images on the computer. This method produces the highest quality result, but it's quite time consuming and requires a lot of work. But it's an option if you want to go for it. If you just have a phone, things get a bit trickier, as there's no app that can capture a real HDI. So the best workaround is to fake it. You can use an app like Google Street View to capture a normal 360 degree image for reflections and then adding a sunlight in Blender to handle the lighting. But this will obviously not give you the best results. So in my opinion, the easiest and most effective way is to use a 360 camera. This is the Insta360 ONE X2, but you can use whatever 360 camera you want, as long as it has a decent resolution and offers an app or something in which you can change the camera settings without touching the camera. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get outside and let me show you how this works. Alright, so here I am outside and let's just pretend that I already shot my footage and want my 3D model to be here behind me. So I'm just gonna place the camera right here and then I'm just going to connect my phone with the camera. And then once we're connected, we can see that we can normally look around here. But what we want to do is switch to the photo mode here and then make sure that we have manual selected here at the bottom. And now we have manual control over three settings. First one is white balance. We're just going to leave that at auto. And then ISO, we're also just going to leave this at 100. And the only setting that we want to change is our shutter speed because we're going to use this to change the expose of our image. So just click on it and change it to the fastest possible value. And if we now look around, we can see that only the highlights are captured, which is exactly what we want. And normally I would now hide from the camera so that I don't appear in the image at the end. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to stay here and capture the first image. And then once it's captured, we can decrease the shutter speed. I usually take an image every three steps. So now I'm going to take one at 1 over 4000 and then the next one. Now at some point it won't show you the live view anymore, but you're just going to keep going until only the shadow details are visible. Alright, so when we take a look at the latest image, we can see that only the shadow details are visible, so that looks something like this. And once we have that, we can get inside and merge them into one HDI. All right, so here we are in Insta360 Studio. Now, your camera might have a different program for this, but all we want to do in here is convert the files that our camera outputs into normal JPEGs. So we can just import the images that we have captured. And then without touching them, we want to select the first one, scroll down to the last one, shift click on it, right click on it, and then just select Start Export, select Export 360 Photo, uncheck the setting right here, and find a good location for the images and start export. Okay, so once the export is finished, the images should look something like this. So starting from really dark and then gradually getting brighter and brighter. And to merge them into one HDI, we're going to need Photoshop to do this. So just head up to File, Automate, 
and merge to HDR Pro. Select the images and click on OK. And then this window will pop up right here. And we just want to make sure that the mode is set to 32 bits and complete toning in Adobe Camera Raw is checked. And then we can go to Tone and Camera Raw. Now we won't change any settings in here and just click on OK as this will change the mode from 32 to 16 bits as you can see right here. So what we have to do after the camera raw is press Ctrl Z to undo the camera raw which will change the mode back to 32 bits which gives our image enough information to be in HDI. Now if you want you can go ahead and add some adjustments like maybe an exposure adjustment layer and if you change it we can see that all the information is stored in our image or you can just leave it as is and head up to file, save as a copy and select radiance.hdr as a file type and click on save. And there you go, you've now created your very own HDI. And now that you can create your own HDI, it's time to move on with your first visual effect shot and you can do it by watching this video right here where I give you a step-by-step -step guide.